So the way that this works, it just opens up. It's like a, you know, like a little fist. Hey, this is Ash from All Things Dentistry, the place where we're passionate about sharing those unwritten hints, hints and tips in dentistry. Well, let's talk about glide path. You know, there's so many different ways to do it. You know, the standard is six, eight, 10, maybe a 15 hand file, get a glide path, super simple. Then take your rotary file, boom, endo's done, right? <laughs> oh, not even close. This is one tool and I haven't used it for a while. I need to thank my buddy, Alan, who, uh, shout out to Alan, great clinician. You can check him out on his Instagram. You know, he was asking me about the M4 handpiece. I was like, yeah, I have one. I haven't used it for a while. So I cracked it out the other day and I was like, man, I remember how effective this tool is. What essentially it does is you take your hand file, you place it down to length. And then this, you know, in those really tight canals, it'll just do the, hand, it'll do the watch winding for you. So. What it's doing is it's going 30 degrees one way, 30 degrees the other way. Counterclockwise, clockwise. And what you can do is easily fabricate your glide path. Now, I've just got the, it's, the hand piece is just right here. That's all it is. Let me get that off. This is the hand piece. And then it can run on whatever motor you have. So what we'll do is let's go ahead and get started with our block. All right, so we've got our S-curve. These are difficult, these, these can be really difficult cases. So, you know, standard, so we're gonna watch line, pull. So this is a technique to get down the canal. Watch line, pull. Hopefully I don't ledge this. Watch line, pull. These blocks are typically 16 millimeters long, so I'm out the end, you can see that there. And we're gonna watch line, pull. Watch line, pull. Now this is, you know, one way to do it. This is the way I do it all the time. It's gonna be watch line, pull. And then what we do is we're gonna do some smoothies, just like this. We call them smoothies, just to create a smooth glide path. And we're, see how we're consistent, we're keeping, you know, the flow. I mean, this is pretty straightforward. Everyone can do this. This is, we're keep maintaining the flow of the canal. If only endo was this simple. I'm going out just a little bit out the end, maybe one red bar, and there we go. Yeah, let's add a little, let's make it a little more realistic. Let's add a little bit of irrigant. We're gonna bend our needle a little bit. And then we'll place it in here, get a little bit of irrigant down. Boom, we're done. So the next stage. I'm so grateful you've made it to this point in the video. Have you felt hopeless during a root canal? Felt lost or didn't know what to do? I know exactly how you feel. Trust me, I've been there. And I wanna change that for you. I put together an affordable endo course to help amazing clinicians like yourself build their confidence in endo. This course will not only take your endo skills to the next level, you will do it alongside other clinicians as well. This is an amazing message from Matt last week and it gives me confidence that the course is a useful tool to help others get past those damn endo blocks. One of the problems with endo is that you feel alone sometimes when you're down a canal. And to conquer that, we created a private Facebook group dedicated to the course where it is a safe place to ask all questions about your cases. And if you need one-on-one -on -one coaching, I'm there as well to guide you through your cases. This course is full of proven tips that will change your endo game. You're not alone. So check us out at allthingsendo.ca. I can't wait to see you there. Is we'll take your 10 file. And I'll try to do this with even larger files and see how more effective it is. How effective, let's do some testing. So let's watch line this down to length. Boom, oh, this is pretty easy. So in a real case, like the case I'm going to show you, I'm playing right now. You know, I got when I got my 10 file down to length, it was tight. Like it would not, it'd be watch and pull, watch and pull, watch and pull. So it's not as simple as this. Let's go ahead, let's up the ante. So we're going to use our 15 file. Now 15 file is a big jump from a 10 file. There we go, we're going to watch and pull, watch and pull. I was chatting with a longtime follower and he had mentioned that he had just recently purchased a Chinese copy of the M4 and he likes it. Doesn't know how long it's gonna last, but these are how, this is how he uses it in his practice. Okay, so we're a little bit out the end and we're using a train block. So pretend this was a 10 file because it's not gonna work in this case because a 10 was loosey goosey. Let me, if you want an, even a 15 file, for a, for a smooth glide path before you get started with your rotaries. Maybe, maybe you were taught like that. This is one way to do it. So what we're gonna do is we, this is a difficulty in using this hand piece is you have to, you don't have to, but it's useful to put, you know, you have to put the hand piece on the file while it's in the patient's mouth. So it makes it a little more complicated. And then we just hit the gas pedal. 
And what it does is it just, you know, essentially watch lines that file back and forth. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move that up and down just a little bit, and we're gonna keep it outside the tooth, just a hair, one red bar. You can see it coming out just a little bit right there. Well, the benefit of this is when the file is really, when the case is really hard to get a hand file down, and you can't, and you and or you've tried to take, you know, you've tried to take one of your fancy dancy nickel titanium files down the length and the thing won't go. You know, it either curls up or breaks or, you know, sometimes these are really skinny and they won't go to length, but you can get a stainless steel hand file down. This is a really easy way to make a smooth glide path quickly and safely because we know, you know, most stainless steel files are pretty damn indestructible. Okay, so what we'll do there then is we'll irrigate this. Now, if you take my course, we're gonna talk about a different technique about opening up canals and whatnot, but just for using this block, because we usually open the chrome two thirds. There we go there, nice and smooth, before we tackle with hand files. But this is just one way to do it. I just wanna share this with you because I thought it was really interesting. So, take a bigger, better look. So the way that this works, it just opens up. It's like a, you know, like a little fist. Open it up, grab onto your file, and you can use any size of file. So after you do that, oops, after you do that, what you do is take your, this is actually Brassler glide path file, and we just run that down. This one should move, go pretty quick, all the way down, out, and we're done. So then we'd have our glide path set already. So, you know, is it necessary? Absolutely not that, you know, this M4 hand piece. I just want to introduce it to you because if you're starting to do a little more endo and some of those cases you're like, you know what? Maybe we can speed them up. So if you're not, let's try, let's try this. So I don't normally recommend this. Let's try putting this is now we're in the testing phase. I'm put it in here and I don't normally use it for the 20 file, but let's just see if we can take this. Oops, we'll hit, hit the gas. 30,000, three, no. So the, the operating speed is 30 is 10,000 max. Ooh. Look at that. Bam, all the way down. Now, if you did that by hand with a with a 20 file, these are pretty damn stiff files. Now, it's gonna straighten the canal a little bit, but just another option, you know, it's a reciprocating, essentially it's a reciprocating hand piece. Fancy dancy. Hmm. Just interesting. So if you're, you know, if you're interested in, you know, it's just food for thought using a reciprocating hand piece, the M4 hand piece. And there are lots of different brands on the market. So anyways, I hope that helps and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Cheers.